Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a golf cart. And this is a golf cart charger, but I'm not using the charger on the golf cart. I'll show you what I'm doing. Let's get right into it. This is a form charge 48 volt lithium golf cart battery charger for nominal 51.2 volt lithium iron phosphate packs commonly found in your lithium golf cart conversions but i'm going to be using it on a 51.2 volt battery system in an off-grid application i love these chargers for off-grid charging applications this is the universal lithium charger from form charge it does not have a brand specific plug uh, form charge also has brand specific club car easy go all the different proprietary plugs they offer the chargers with those pre-made but this is the universal since i'm using it for off-grid battery bank uh package well this is a 15 amp version serialized uh, security tape and stuff on the box so you make sure it's not used it's brand new that is factory tape right there so see do not accept if it's broken i like seeing that that nobody's messed with this before me you know quality sealed and their support team is based in minnesota uh engineered and designed and support in minnesota so quick reaction if you ever run into a problem just contact them they guarantee a rapid response i like to see that so time to unbox this and see what we got going on here see if it's just an easy tear that's eh, gonna be a razor knife operation right there so the old razor knife on there and break the seal on it i'm curious to see what is in this box i'm excited about this video here for this charger wow look at that package well with foam there's a manual right there we'll go over that in just a minute package nicely in foam i like that that's a that's a very nice color scheme very robust built right off the bat i can tell that is a quality unit so this charger, the universal model, has a four foot DC cable lead right there with nice thick M8 terminals. This is a lot thicker than some other brands I'm used to seeing. High frequency charger, so it's supposed to be pretty efficient. I claim is above 85% efficiency. We're gonna check that in just a minute. I was trying to get you a wire size right there that appears to be 12 gauge wire. Um, here we go right here. There is one right there. It is 12 gauge wire right there. So it's got 12 gauge leads coming out for the DC side. And then we have a eight foot. That's why I like this one. It's got an eight foot power cord. For what I'm fixing to use it for, that extended length power cord is gonna be very handy. And let's try and get you a wire gauge on that. That is 14 gauge on the AC side power cable. And we are microprocessor controlled. It's got a little built-in board and stuff like most of your high frequency chargers. And one thing I've noticed on this one, it's got a temperature sensor on the DC leads right there. So they're doing something with their processor to monitor the temperature of the cord. I have not seen that on any other brand of golf cart charger. And I have a bunch of golf cart chargers of various makes and models and brands. That is a unique feature. I really like seeing that. So I'm assuming their microprocessor will cut power on the DC side if it sees an over temperature condition. Or they may be using it as a 32 degree F protection feature. Um, I will find out more about that and inform you before the end of the video. And we also have an indicator, state of charge indicator light right here. And per the literature, I did read up on this sensor that is a high temp protection sensor. So you know, all kinds of safeguards, you know, built into this unit. So let's hook it up to a golf cart battery and see how it performs. I'm gonna get you an efficiency check and all that on it. See what it's made of. So here's the setup. I got the form charge golf cart charger connect to a repower flow battery down here i'll show you in just a second so i got the energy meter set up right here on this portable power station i got eh, about halfway full so about a kilowatt worth of energy to dump into the 48 volt system its max output is 58.4 which would have 51.2 volt batteries you know completely completely full uh, we won't get that far because uh yeah uh winter time Let's see what the repower flow is sitting at right there, 32%. So there's the repower flow and I've got the breaker off to the repower flow right there. So the only charge indication will be coming through this smart battery display right here for the repower flow. And speaking of the repower flow, that is an absolute monster of a battery. Don't underestimate golf cart batteries for off-grid applications. I actually am leaning to prefer 
golf cart batteries such as this due to their huge BMSs and stuff compared to, you know, server racks. You always got the server rack option, but, you know, these right here are really becoming my favorite type of battery, the golf cart batteries. But there's the power lead for the charger right there connected to the repower flow. So we're going to dump charge into that repower flow. So here's the form charge charger. Here's the wall cord for the charger. You always hook up your DC leads first on these golf cart chargers. Got the power meter right here on the Ocatel. I said about a little bit over a kilowatt is going to dump into that system. So I got the energy meter on watts. So let me plug it in. I'll show you the startup sequence. Uh, most of these golf cart chargers just pulse the battery a couple of times, take some voltage readings and things, and then they'll start charging. So I'm going to let you see it real time how they work. So it should start charging any moment now. And here we go. There she goes, she's charging. There's our indicator showing we're at a low state of charge, of course. So let everything stabilize out and I'm gonna get you readings live. So let's go over here to the repower flow display and see what we're getting. Cause the charger's rated at 15 amps. So 15 amp charger, 14.95 into the battery. Pretty good. Then on the AC side, this is 120 volts right here off of the Ocatel, 892.0 watts, 0.4. So bounce around around 892. So we have, there's the readings right there, 14.95 amps times 53.89 volts DC. That's 806 watts on the DC side. And we're pulling 892 watts on the AC side, which is roughly 90.4% efficient. Not too bad. They claim greater than 85, greater than or equal to 85, and we're exceeding that. So I'll let the charger run for a little while, let it heat soak. Uh, I'll try to catch it before the Ocatel shuts down. So 56 minutes, eh, I'll come back in about a half hour and uh, let this thing get fully heat soaked and see what the actual efficiency will be after it's heat soaked. And you can see right here, we've got two different discrepancies. This energy meter right here is dead on the money. These calculated loads off these power stations are never accurate, but this one has been proven time and time again to be dead on the money. So we're going off of this one right here. These cooling fans on this and this little cooling fan, it is throwing some air out. This is moving a lot of air for a 15 amp charger. I've got some 25 amp golf cart chargers and they don't move the air that this one does. You can feel it from, uh, almost two feet away you can feel air coming i feel it on my shirt standing way back behind it so it is thumping some air out i do like to see that so this should be one of the coolest running or cooler running golf cart chargers that i have uh nice and cool to the touch everywhere no heat yet uh, on the actual body of the charger the dc cable is cold to the touch as well so we're still we're over here 14.87 so the voltage is coming up i'm gonna put the breaker back on and dump it to the rest of the system here. I don't want this to get too far above everything else when I dump charge. I don't like getting more than 0.1 or 0.2 a volt difference between my batteries. So there we go. I'll let it dump into the entire system and then we'll switch it back over just to the repower flow uh, when this gets completely heat soaked. Just a few minutes left before this power station's empty, powering up the form charge lithium battery charger right there. Uh, the case is starting to get a little, you know, you can feel it's above, above ambient, about body temperature. The power leads AC and DC are ambient, cold to the touch, no difference between ambient and the cord, so that's a good sign. You can feel the heat being extracted out of the charger right there, so working pretty good. Now let's get an efficiency check on the charger now that the actual body has noticeable heat in it. So I'm gonna shut the breaker off on the repower flow, and that should give us all of the energy back into the repower flow instead of the rest of the system. So right there, I'll see what we're indicating on the smart battery display, 14.87 amps at 53.96 volts. So that's 802 watts going into the repower flow battery and pulling 889.1.4, we'll just say 889 out of the power station. That's 54 minutes of runtime. So with the charge running almost an hour, that was 54 minutes. So we're putting 802 watts into the battery, pulling 889 from the wall outlet. Uh, that's 90.2% efficient after it's run for almost an hour. So we only lost 0.2 of a percent efficiency between ice cold startup 
and completely heat soaked after an hour. That's pretty good. Still well above the manufacturer's minimum rating of 85%. So well above that. I like to see that. All right, so I'm going to stop the charger right here. I uh, don't want to drain this Ocotel all the way down flat. I got to recharge it, so I'll take the charger off. And there you go. Immediately stops. Fan comes to a rest. So the Form Charge 15 amp 48 volt lithium golf cart charger delivered its ratings uh, right at 15 amps. Uh, even hot, we were close to the manufacturer's specification. The efficiency was 5% over manufacturer's specification, which is nice to see. Very good charger, nice long leads on it. Now, how you would use this charger versus how I'm going to use it would be probably completely different. You'd probably put this in a golf cart, but don't overlook these chargers for off-grid 48-volt applications. If you don't have grid power and you're going to be using a generator, these chargers make excellent choices because of their high efficiency. So for every kilowatt you're putting in, you're getting 90% of that kilowatt out into your battery bank, which is pretty nice. So I'm planning to use this with a gasoline generator. I have another 48 volt system that has several golf cart chargers that perform charging duties off of a gasoline generator. This 48 volt system will be no different. These chargers just work great. This style charger, this form charge, has an 18 month warranty, which is a little bit better than some of the competition. Now with that said, this charger is a few dollars more than some of your no name or knockoff brands. Form Charge has been around for a while. They're a very reputable company. So if you want to look further into Form Charge and their products, remember they also have lead acid chargers. So if you're running a golf cart, our off-grid system that's 48 volt lead acid they got a charger for that too so i'll provide a link in the video description so you can check out this charger more to see if this fits your needs they also have other offerings remember like i said at the beginning of the video, they got several different options to choose from yes i can recommend this charger if you're looking into one yeah hey, i like it it's a good little charger so i appreciate you form charge for sending this unit in for me to test and show everybody that it works as you have it advertised or as designed so yeah you know, two thumbs up on that and appreciate all you that are watching the video, all my viewers, really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Appreciate if you hit that like button. You got questions or anything like that, battery related, charger related, put it in the comment section. Uh, appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day. I'll catch you on the next one.